Hi everyone, so I'm back with a let's make for you. Um, I had made a journal the other day and it was using the um, William Morris papers, um, digital papers that Artie Mays has in our shop. Um, and I had made some envelopes and, envelopes and I'd used um, book pages as my base. I did literally cover them all over, but they're a good base to have. Um, I've just coffee dyed these two, but I'll show you. Um, I had, um, I mean, these were roughly um, 11 and a half by uh, eight and three eighths, but I did chop them down. So what I just did was, and as I'm gonna cover it over, I've just folded up to roughly where I want the pocket to, to be. And this all obviously depends on the size of your journal page, because you want it to fit in. So I just eyeball it, but if you wanna measure it, you can go ahead and do that. So that's what I've done so far. And I just trimmed off these edges. Um, and obviously if you're making a, a, a shorter journal, then just make sure that your envelope um, lengthwise is gonna fit in it nicely. Now this is actually, uh, it is, it's actually the same size as that. Um, then I trimmed away a little bit. It's entirely up to you how, you know, how big you want the flap to your envelope to be. So I'm quite happy with that. So that's all I done with my, um, big sheet of book page um so we'll come back to this i'm only going to do one right so that was my flap because i've coffee dyed this only because it's given me some extra strength i think it, when you coffee dye or tea dye something or paint it or gesso it it changes the texture of it um so that's how it's going to be so I've got, I've still got loads of things because I'm doing a live tonight as well at eight o'clock. Hopefully nothing goes wrong tonight. No, it shouldn't do, everything's fine. We've got Alfie here tonight. <laughs> um, had to watch him the other night because uh, his mum had to um, go to a &E, So, um, but he's actually here tonight and his dad's here as well. So I'm not going to get interrupted. So I've got all these scraps, bits that have been cut off from all the other bits that I've been using, kept them all. Um, I've even got some music paper, that's digital music paper. But obviously you can use whatever scraps that you have. I'm just using these um, William Morris ones. And I've also got some up here as well. They're just the tail ends of when I'm cutting them down to size to fit my journal when I fold them in half. So I always keep them as well. Right, so I'm going to be using this because I've recently just bought that and I absolutely love it um, because it's quick drying as well. If I use my um, uh, my PVA, which is two to two to one, um, so it's two parts PVA and one part water, um, it just takes too long to dry and I don't want it to be like that. Now my brushes, I've just been messing around as well with some paints. Um, and that's drying at the moment and I haven't really washed my brushes out properly so there might be a smearing of yellow and green and orange in this as you can see that's the colours that I've been using with using with or using to do my background papers anyway right I'm also going to use just a piece of copy paper just to put in there because um, if uh, if I get it all over it's just going to stick um, and I want to try and do this, even though the papers are not really directional, I want to keep it um, like with a flow of pattern. Um, so a little bit more of that. A bit scared to just pour out too much of that because I've done that before and then wasted it. So um, just grabbing my scraps. Now I'm, I might even tear some of these up as well. Just do them as I want to. So I'm going to, I mean, this isn't, this is not my idea. I have done things like this before, but so has many others. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And I will trim off the bits hanging over the edges, obviously. Um, we have a piece of this. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, the weather is um, cheering up. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's quite nice during the day and we need to have a little bit of a mini heat wave next week, which is good because some of our restrictions are being lifted to we can have um, people in the garden. Um, 
is it six up to six people or two different households something like that so i'm just hope i'm in frame here yeah so i'm just going to tear some of this i'm going to have some uh some of that on there because i don't want it all the pattern but also with um if you've if you've got the william morris papers or any other papers you can actually just glue the whole page onto your cover of your envelope um you know if you've got a good um like collage pages for example they're really um they're really good just to do that with so i'm just going to quickly dry that and i'll be back so i have dried that i've trimmed off around the edges like so um now i'm going to do this top flap i think okay so i'm still going to use that and just it's a bit tacky there so i'll turn that over so i'll use that again i'm still going to be using this but like i say use whatever glue you have you can use a glue stick i am going to stitch around um all the edges of this anyway um but i just i really do like how the way this dries and and obviously it's water uh, you can go over it if you want to once you've like collaged things on you can go over it with that again and then you can do other things on it you can spray on it paint on it and it's not going to mess anything up right so thinking that we should really turn that around that away right because that's going to be my top flap and thinking about right okay so i'm going to put a little bit of music paper along here i'm just going to tear that uh okay, just a little bit there and this stuff does dry very quickly that's the only thing gotta be quick gotta be quick all right so have a little bit there and i'm just going to go over that so now again i will trim off the bits that are hanging over um tear a little bit of this And I think I'll put that there. I might actually just take that over just a tad onto, because when I fold it anyway, um, it will be stuck down. And I'm going to sew around the edges, like I said. Okay. Right. Um, let me find something else. Let's go a little bit bolder with these. These papers are absolutely gorgeous. And I love what Andrea has done with them. They just are super duper. Okay. Um, if you hear noise, noises coming from outside, my neighbours are all out in the street with their kids playing on bikes and scooters and there's nearly been a few accidents where they're not paying attention to the kids and there's cars come flying up and down and <sighs> heart was in my mouth earlier I, was, I had to shut my blinds in my kitchen i just couldn't look anymore it was quite scary um so yeah hoping there's not blinking accident <laughs> right so i'm just going to dry that quickly and i will be back okay so that's me done my the front part of the pocket for the envelope the flap for the envelope and now i've just got to do the back um i might just put i could nope not going to put a solid piece on because i ain't got a big enough piece um so i might just patch that up like so don't know uh Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do here? <laughs> uh, oh, I like that piece. Right, I'm going to use that piece because that is one of my favourite pages as well. So, more of this stuff. And I see I've got it all clumped around the opening. Um, okay, so I'll just put that on. This is, I find this very relaxing to do. Um, you know, whether it's just gluing, collaging, painting and not having any real thought about it whatsoever just love it okay so i'm just going to take that i'll take that over because like i said i'm going to be sewing so but if you want to just be precise and and have it straight up to the edges you know you can do that it's entirely up to you all right so a little bit over here here we go 
see if we can get a couple of bits on there. Um, oh, just, just, where's my card? Should be doing that as well. I don't normally do that to squish it down. I'm just going to wipe this glue away so it doesn't stick to everything else. And then a piece for down the middle. What shall we have? Um, a little piece of that, I think. Yeah, so my William Morris has now got his own little envelope. My big clear envelope. I'm going to put everything in there because I really do like this. Um, I think that's my son and my grandson back. They went out for a bike ride because um, Alfie was starting to feel really tired and we were not letting him go to sleep at like half past four because then he would be up till like... 100 o'clock at night <laughs> and it's like it's nice having him here but he can be a live wire and he um he likes to stay up and of course he only you know we only see him at the weekend generally so he does enjoy it so let me just dry this and i'll be back okay so everything is uh glued on dried uh flaps done pockets done the back is done now i'm actually thinking this time around i may um i need to actually trim a little bit off just give it a little bit of shape um oh, just forgot to do that earlier just the way you want to you could round the corners if you choose okay so um i'm actually gonna decorate this with a piece of that just samples since I've still got some of this glue sitting here um, and then I will dry that which was all dry and then I will stitch around it and then I'm going to decorate the envelope okay so in the live tonight I'm just going to make some tags and some journal cards I am going to be using the William Morris um, and I've got butterflies uh, ready to go as that's my favorite thing uh, got butterflies labels sentiments um, and I'm going to use some of the Tim Holtz dyes the flower dyes as well I think we shall see okay so I'll just trim around that I'm going to use black cotton um, just to make it pop. I think that's kind of nice, the black cotton. And plus I can't be bothered changing it to the white in, in my machine. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep them bits. Right, so like I said, I will dry that. I'm going to stitch around. What I will do is, first of all, I'll put a stitch along here. Then I'll fold it up and then I will start stitching like from up there all the way down, around, up, down, and it meets in one of the corners. But I do like to stitch this piece just in case it comes away. So let me go and do that. Okay, so I've stitched all around. I had a little fight with my sewing machine while I was at it. Um, I have caught up twice for some reason. Don't know why that happened, but it did. So I've got a couple of little breaks in my stitching, one of them being there, but thankfully I, that's gonna get covered over with a little embellishment of some sort. So I'm just inking up around the edges. Um, so these are the kind of things that you could sit and do, in like, you know, mass production. Um, do all your collaging, then do all your stitching, then sit and do all your decorations. Um, but I'm just going to obviously show you how to do this one. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll do a little bit inside. Should have inked that up. Now this, you know, as it started off with a book page, which it was quite a firm book page, it wasn't a floppy one, but if you've got like really thin book pages, maybe double up on them to start with, because now this feels really, really strong. Um, something that I didn't do actually, I wanted to stitch along there, but I might just leave that as it is. I don't want to stop and start again. Okay, so on the back, I'm going to use my glue stick I'm just going to put a simple label on there um, yeah, I left the lid off this two nights ago I haven't been in here for two days um, yeah I left the light, the, the light on the um, the lid off so it's a bit um, it's a bit tacky 
and a little bit of wet glue because I don't want it to come off because um, this is going to be like you know in and out of a journal just put that on what have I done with my baby wipe I have binned it who knows I had a baby wipe a minute ago I'm just going to dab that down and wipe that off it's Ugh. I really don't know what I've done with that baby wipe oh well I have to open a new pack up. Mm. <sighs> Hopefully I haven't sat it. I've sat paper on top of it. <laughs> Got a habit of doing that sometimes and pick stuff up and it's all bled through. Okay, right. Turn it around. I'm going to use one of these, which is a freebie from Artie Mays uh, on her Facebook page, Artie Mays and Friends. Um, I've already backed that, but I'm still going to back it. I need a little bit of cardstock. So I keep all my scraps of cardstock as well for things like this and backing words. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue on there. And I'm going to use my pinking shears just to go around it and leave a border. Uh, about that much, maybe. And ink up around the edges of that. <clears throat> oh, I also wanted to put that little red label on there. To be honest, this is so tacky. If you just hear that lifting off then, it's like basically stuck to the glass mat. I'm just going to pop that on there. These labels are a freebie from Artie Mays as well. Um, I know she's got them on her Facebook page and her um, website, where she's got quite a lot of freebies on there as well. I think most of them are on the um the facebook group so making sure that i've got that run the wrong the right way not the wrong way the right way i'm just gonna put some glue just down the bottom here and <clears throat> pop that there that would have been nice actually using a little bit of colored cardstock but too late now i've got tons and tons of cardstock from my card making and mini album days Okay, so then that's still open, so you don't want to glue that right down, um, like completely down, otherwise you won't be able to open your envelope. And then I'm going to, I've got words here, these are all the stuff that I prepared to do that live the other day, and it didn't happen. Um, and, oh, blue, a little blue butterfly, let's see. What other, I've got some more butterflies to cut out as well. Um... Oh, that's too much. Uh, that's. Let me see. And this is all getting put into a um, journal that I'm making, which is the Spring Mist journal, which is a collaboration kit f between um, and Artie Mays and me. Um, Andrea has the full journal size kit in her Etsy shop and I have the traveller's notebook size in my shop and the links are below just in case you want to have a little look right so I'm going to put some bling on that need some bling and we'll put three little pieces of bling or a whole strip because I didn't cut that properly and we'll put that there like so and maybe a word who knows blissful mm, charming again these are freebies you get these words with um them these are from the spring mist i'm just going to pop charming up there Here we go, a little bit is oozed out. You could go over them 
that with like glossy accents you could add some fabrics and laces and whatever you like there's a little bit of glue oozing out there so there we go quick and easy um collaged envelope using a um book page right i'm just going to do a quick demonstration here so that's the other one that i have now because these papers or any other papers that you want to use if you've got a good pattern on there just open it up fully let me just trim that and just another i'm not going to do the full thing i'm just going to show you um just a quick way of doing it use a full sheet glue it on trim around the edges sew it or glue it and then you've literally got um another envelope without doing all the collaging you know if you've got great um backgrounds like these or similar to these collage backgrounds um or you if you've got like your own master boards and things like that you can do that so that's another easy way of doing it especially with lovely papers like this and i'm probably going to do that with this one for my journal but I'll, i'm not going to do it on this video because this is getting too long now too long so if you have any questions just ask and thank you for watching bye